What's the difference between the successful and the unsuccessful? The successful sacrifice, and things get better as the successful practice their sacrifices. The successful among us sacrifice. The successful among us delay gratification. All right, today what we're doing is we're having Saxon hit the um, CrossFit Games workout from 2021, event number nine. It's that quick burn, 21.59 of Cal Echo and Power Snatch at 105, 75. Um, we're gonna have Saxon do it with that shorty bar, just like it was at the games, because we want to kind of um, have some tactical um, efficiency tips that we can kind of work through with him on that one that we should expect to see at Rogue or in the future on that one. And also just to really retest where he was at during that games time period. Um, for this workout, we're gonna have an eight minute time cap on it. For Saxon, our time cap was 4.30. That's really where we want him to kind of get both below on this one. And we're really working on efficiency on the echo and having him push the echo as being the focus for the day. And then maintaining cycle rate on that power snatch at that 105 bar. Looking at when we're scaling this workout for our level two, we're just gonna look at scaling the weight. We want something that we can maintain and hold on to ideally for unbroken reps at 95.65. Um, if we go down to our level one, what we'd also do is scale down the echo bike calories to 15, 12, nine, and then move that power snatch down to a 75, 55, so that we can stay within that time frame of under eight minutes, but ideally with the goal time of four to six minutes being really the time domain we're trying to tackle today. Can't be comfortable, too comfortable, especially when the males division, right? Like that has to be that form of like holding on for the 15s and then all you got left in the nuts for the most yeah. approach, right? I think we've tried the opposite approach of like building into it, this is a great chance now to like try the opposite approach. 100%.
I actually didn't want to get off the bike. <laughs> nice push, dude. That just came to snatches, Ben. Which is good because that was all his bike for me. I'm going through the archives manually. The bike I was proud of. The snatches just got for TV. Yeah, that 15 gets it. I don't know if it's because I like I didn't use my legs at all. I do remember when I did it in the summer, I got off the bike at 56. 430 is your time cap. I mean somewhere around there is what you got. Look, I shaved 25 seconds off the first bike from summer. I feel like the transition's the same as the games where you have to go backwards rather than forwards. Some would argue it's harder, but you didn't start on your bike then either. Okay, so 340.07 on that one, and he was fourth at the games. So just as a note. Put, put me next to someone. <laughs> well, that's, I mean, I should have done it already. I was like, I should have jumped in, man. Just, I would have just done it at 75 pounds and hit the bike hard. <laughs> just tried, trying to make you push. Snap. Yeah. When I wake up in the morning, I don't think, am I motivated to go do what I'm supposed to do? No. I don't think about it for one millisecond. When the alarm clock goes off, I have no thought about whether this is easy, whether this is hard, whether I want to do it, whether I don't want to do it. None of that matters.